Hi, Hank Will from Grip Magazine again. Uh, this time I've got a question from a reader uh, regarding fencing. Chuck's curious about what kind of fencing would be best for his homestead. Oh boy, I could, I could go on for days about this probably. If you think about fencing, fencing is, is really effective in two particular ways. Uh, it, it can either be a physical barrier from a, for, for an animal or it can be a psychological barrier. Probably the best fences are both physical and psychological. If you think about a physical barrier, you know, maybe a 12 foot tall vertical wall would keep your cattle in. It might not keep your goats in. Uh, a psychological barrier would be a, a really high charged uh, electric fence where maybe there's just a single strand of wire that, that wouldn't really hold back any animal, but they know if they touch it, they've learned that if they touch it, they're gonna get shocked and that keeps them from leaning on the fence. So when it comes to what's the best kind of fence for a homestead, it really depends on what you're trying to keep in and what you're trying to keep out, uh, whether it's your garden, whether it's a, a field of your, your best seed corn, or whether it's a pasture full of goats or, or chickens or sheep or cattle. Um, you know, I find at least on uh, most homesteads that I'm aware of, a combination of woven wire with small enough mesh to keep the small enough animals in that you don't want to have escape. Uh, that some some fencing with that is is almost a must. Uh, certainly, s multiple strands of barbed wire works. Uh, the woven wire is much more of a physical barrier than a a psychological barrier. The barbed wire is a combination of physical and psychological. And if you're using a physical barrier like uh, woven wire, it's helpful to add a bit of psychological control to that because woven wire also makes a really nice back scratch or, or flank scratch for sheep and goats and cattle. And if they rub on it a lot, eventually they'll knock that fence down. So if you offset an electrical wire on the inside of that uh, wire mesh fence, they'll, they'll learn quickly to stay away from the fence itself. They'll probably still be able to graze up to it if that's what, if that's what you're after. Uh, but they won't lean on the fence and they won't destroy it uh, by rubbing on it because they'll get shocked if they do. So in the end, Chuck, it really depends on kind of what your, what, what your specific needs are and your topography and uh, really what you're, what you're able to afford. So good luck with this project. I think it's a great project. Mm -hmm.